So, as you all know, I did the video on how to clean a tenor trombone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to clean a trigger trombone. As the instrument parts, if you have any more other than this, you're going to need your trombone bell section, trombone slide section, and of course your mouthpiece. And if you have a removable or attachable trigger, then you should get that. And it's, and mine doesn't have that, but the things that you're going to be needing to clean it is, what is it called again? Wax towel. Wait a minute, I'm going to find it now. I need to look for my... Two, two um, mouthpiece cleaners. If you want to use one, you can, but two is going to be better. I'll show you in a minute. Herco, or at least some kind of slide grease. Types of slide oil doesn't matter, but you can also use different types of rotor oil as well because you're going to need rotor oil. And spitballs. Oh yeah, and one more thing. Ugh, I feel weird for some reason. No. A snake. Not an actual snake, but a cleaning snake for trombone. And this is how you're going to clean your instrument. We're going to start off with the bell section. You know, first, in order to oil the trigger, you're going to want to open up the trigger cap. Set that to the side. Take your second trigger cap that's on the inside, put that there. See, this one's kind of loud without even trying to hit the sides. You're going to want to lightly tap that and empty it out. And you're going to grab your wax towel and clean that up. Then to clean it up, or to oil it up, you're going to grab some rotor oil. And then you're just going to put a tiny bit in. And then you're done with your rotor oil. You're, move your, you're going to move the trigger or the bell slide around a little bit. Oh, and it also went all over me. You can also lightly tap it on the top, and you're going to clean up all that excess oil. Here's another way to clean it, or to do it, is grab your rotor oil. Like that, and then, or you're going to have to keep it closed though. And then you're going to want to clean this up. Not as loud as it were before, but definitely still loud. And then you're actually done with your oil. And then, and then you're going to take out your tuning slide, your main tuning slide. You're going to run your snake through. And then you're going to take your tuning slide for your trigger. First, you're going to put this to the side. And in order to remove it, if it's kind of hard, Push the sugar down. Try to pull it out. Oh, this stuff's stuck. Mine can sometimes get stuck for some reason. And here's a way to help. Just plop this back in. And then... And you get to take this back out. Oh, God. There. If it makes that popping noise, that means that you didn't take it out correctly. That you got need to pull the trigger and then take it out. And then yet again, you're gonna grab your tuning slide or your snake. Let it go out through the entire side. And then you're gonna put this on the side. Now here comes the trigger part. Now you're gonna want to take this. You 
You're going to want to clean this out. Here's, and then you're going to want to clean this out. Or this. There we go. And I think this is another one. Right there. No, it's not. But still, then once you're done with that, you're going to want to clean these off. You're going to want to clean these off with your wax. Your wax, wax towel. You want to put them back. And yeah. And then you're going to put those to the side. And since you're already done rotoring your oil, rotoring your oil, oiling your rotor, then you get to put it back on. I don't know if you guys can see, can see this, but there's a groove on the trigger pad. And it has to match up with the groove onto the trigger, uh, trigger on the trigger rigs itself. You're going to match up. And it's okay while you're screwing it in, but it just has to match up while you're putting it on. Or things like that can happen. And I just dropped that. Then you're going to want to close this off. Make it your trigger works. Push it down a few times fast. And now you're going to grab your... Now you're going to grab your tuning slide. I'm sorry, I'm kind of tired today. And you're going to put oil on the tuning slides. And then we're going to put the tuning slide back in. And it's stuck sometimes. Shit. Hear all that air rushing out? And you're gonna want to once you push it all the way back down, you'll want to push your trigger a few times so that all that air can get out. And then you're gonna do the same thing with this. Put some oil on it. And for this one, you're gonna want to put it in, take it out a few times, only on one of the sides. And you're gonna want to go like this. I'm gonna get to put this back in. There, and clean this out. And since the trigger is not pushed, you're able to run this all the way through. And then it's going to come out over the other side. And there. All done. With the bell section. And this only for cleaning out the tubes. So now we're actually going to clean the instrument. You're going to take your wax rag. And you're also going to need a... Just, yeah, you're just going to take your wax rag. You want to clean off some of the old buffs. You want to buff it up. Make it all nice and shiny. Mine's already very clean, but I still gotta do this just to keep the paint layer protected. And then you should be done with your bell section. And that was already nine minutes, and that's just the bell section. Let's do this section a little quicker. It's a slide section. That's pretty noisy. You don't want to remove the slide. And you're gonna put the. In interior slide on this side and you're going to grab your 
outer slide and you're gonna quickly snake it up and out. Once you feel resistance, don't put it all the way through to stop. And now you're going to grab the slide oil and you want to put it on these area where the stock sings and the inner tube meets up. And then you're going to grab this and you're going to want to clean this all off like so. That. And then you're going to put some oil all along the slide. Don't put on too much. I know I'm putting on way too much, but still. And while that's still in your hand, you want to clean out the inside and do the same thing to the other side. Sorry, stop marking. And then some drip, there's some, there should be things dripping out. And then you remember you're going to put your slide on the right way. Yet again, this still has spit in it because there's an empty out the spit valve. And also because of that extra oil that I put on in there, so. And if it's still really noisy, then you're going to want to grab your premium slide oil. At least this one's premium slide oil. You want to open it up with some, just some. You're going to grab your slide grease. And even if it still isn't really as noisy, you still should do this part because it's good for the instrument. And you're just going to want to put on some and then massage it around and a lot quieter and then you're going to clean your mouthpiece with your two or at least one in case cleaning tools I mean the reason why I need to is because I do this and then I run it under the water and then clean it and then I clean out the inside but you can also do that with one and you're going to clean it with lukewarm water and some dish soap and that is going to be the rest of that but then there's one thing that I've always wanted to do and I wanted to shoot a spitball out of the freaking instrument I can't do it on the trigger because it could get lodged in the trigger so I'm only going to do it to this side without trying to get it all over my instrument And see how it's in the top, then you want to push it down at least six inches. Clean out the top so you can put your mouth on it without killing yourself. Then it's gonna smell strong. And I hit the TV <laughs> right then and there. Yeah, Dean, go get some paper towels and go clean that up. Hurry up. And that is how you clean your instrument. Have a nice day.